I just wanted to take a moment now and talk to all of our football alums, our recruits, and all those, who, all those of you that follow Wheaton College football and give you an update of our past eight weeks, the spring here at Wheaton College and what it entails. We began over the spring break back in March, to, went on mission trips. We do that every year. We've been headed to different locations around the world uh, since 1999, and Coach Peltz is the, the brainchild behind all these, and we've headed to parts of Europe and Africa, South America, Central America, and now this first year we get uh, to a location here in the States. And uh, this past year we sent a group to South Africa, we sent a group to Haiti, uh, we sent a group to Tennessee, and we're sending a group to Senegal, Africa, right after we graduate here in May. That group was supposed to be going to Senegal during the break, and uh, because of government unrest we've had to delay that visit. But these trips, again, were just a powerful, powerful influence on our young men's lives. I've said this many, many times, and I think that uh, the, the trips do more to affect our own young men and to help them mature and grow closer to the Lord and learn about how to serve than what the actual work that we actually do over there. And I would just want to really encourage uh, any of you that are out there to take a look at our highlight video of our mission trip. It's currently posted on YouTube and Facebook, and it's going to be up on our football website as well. It's just a, it's, it's a short video, but it really, really uh, captures the essence of these trips. It's a video of our trip to South Africa, to Haiti, and to a, a, a camp here in Tennessee. And it just is a powerful reminder of what the, the influence a group of young men can have when they, they put others in front of themselves. Uh, we return from that mission trip to into our spring quad here. Uh, the NCAA allows us five weeks of practice. Uh, we practice 16 times in those five weeks. We're not allowed to wear pads, but we get out there and we, it gives us an opportunity to really spend a lot of time uh, with our young men that were not necessarily high on the depth chart uh, this past fall and gives them a chance. A lot of these guys were scout team players. It gives us an opportunity to really work with them and to teach them our offense and our defense and let them know a little bit about what our special teams are all about. And those spring practices went exceedingly well. We finished those up uh, this past Saturday. And uh, along with those spring practices, we also are lifting weights uh, three times a week. Uh, we, this current week, our kids are going to max in the weight room. I've been here now 27 years and it never ceases to amaze me how strong our kids get. They get getting bigger and stronger every year and, and I like to think it's because of how good a coach we are but I think a lot of it has to do with just nutrition and just young people today and how they're trained when they get here. It's just uh, it's a new world, it really is and our, and our kids have become extremely strong. Uh, this year's recruiting class is, is now finished up for us here at Wheaton. We have 32 new freshmen that are going to be entering Wheaton this fall. Uh, three transfers. They represent uh, 14 different states uh, from California to Florida to California to Washington. Uh, they are just perfect young men for Wheaton in, in a lot of ways that, that you guys, that alums, were when you came to Wheaton a long time ago. Uh, they are young men that love Jesus, have a heart for Christ, young men that are highly motivated in the classroom, and obviously young men that can play the game well and help us continue to win football games. But they uh, literally come from around the country and, and uh, which again shows the distinctiveness of Wheaton. Uh, just another shout out to the, the recruits that are now on our board for next year. We have two opportunities for you this summer to get to know Wheaton. If you're a lineman, uh, we'll have a lineman camp on June 22nd. Uh, there's information on that on our website and then we'll have a summer recruiting day on June 25th, uh, an all day long event for anybody who wants to learn more about Wheaton uh, that will be in next year's recruiting class. Uh, just want to get another, get another shout out to shout out to our alumni. Again, encourage you guys to stay involved in our program. Uh, stay involved in our program through the website. Uh, don't hesitate to come by campus and visit with us, and to spend time with us. Uh, we're trying to build a program or continue to build a program here that represents you well, represents the institution well, and to make something that you're you're very proud of. Uh, our kids are leaving next week to go home for the summer, and they will return when we start our fall practices. On August 7th, we open up uh, nine days earlier than normal on a Thursday night, and hopefully we'll see all of you on that Thursday night as we play Benedictine University.